Yeah, KSW has many AKAs, actually. Um, oh, let's, really? Yeah, let's talk about this for a second. So, uh, I, I can introduce him. In the bottom middle part of the map, it is KSW. On Europe, he his nickname is Starbo. He is Starbo. <laughs> is that guy? Yes. And <laughs> uh, and in Arrows, he is GT, GT, GT. Oh, and, and he recently showed up a week ago on Artosis and Tesla stream, playing versus them on NA, and he just beating them really bad. And that was like the first time he was playing Starbo. <laughs> but he's like a B plus on Icy Cup in Brood War. Uh, uh, he's trying to get adjusted into Starbo, and he's doing a pretty good job. I think he's played some StarCraft 2 as well. So yeah. so it's really fun to see. He's, he's from Korea, uh, so it's really fun to see some Koreans picking up Starbo. That's not like Axiom people, because they can only play like a couple of times. Going for the drone trick already. Oh, sorry, I should introduce this other guy too. <laughs> this map is really dark. You can do that. And on the bottom right, we have Dirty Bag, who is currently undefeated in this tournament. He's coming from the winner's bracket. He is Dirty Bag. I think you already are purple. Said. He's uh, what what kind of purple is this? <laughs> it's 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 purple. It's purple. Oh, Zephius is purple. There has to be the something color, more. The color purple. They can't, but there's so many purples. No, you care too much about that. Let's go. Dude, and actually... we have a Forge Fast Expand out of Dirty Bag. Whoa, while what KSW is this? Is that hatch first. Standard no spawning play. Down. What is this? So this is, by the way, the Grand Finals. It's going to be a best of three. If Dirty Bag wins this best of three of the game, the whole tournament is over, and he's he's the victor. If KSW wins this best of three, since he came from the loser's bracket, it's going to be an extended series with just the best of one, because the loser's bracket has been mostly best of ones. And uh, and then if if he and then oh, whoever wins that, he's putting hats on the natural of Dirty Bag. What? I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> You're so mean. Now, Dirty Bag is gonna be safe. He's gonna go for the forge first. I'm kind of curious why he didn't use the pylon as a part of the wall in because this is actually kind of quite a bit of wall to wall off. This is not a small wall. Yeah. And this map is just awesome, by the way. Just have a look at some of the like. Hang on. Where can I find these? Yeah, there you go. Like now, hold on. There's a there's a probe attacking a hatch. Well, oh, that's not important. Starbo and Neodante speak with science everywhere. It's awesome. They're trading blows of small HP damage. HP versus regeneration. Who wins? It's a boxing match. Both players try to do you know get in those quick jabs. <laughs> yes, it's just like watching professional boxing. Watching a probe. It is. It's exact. Beating away at a hatchery. Boxing. We're watching right now. Okay, what do do I need to do something about the textures, the gamma rates? Uh, no. Well, actually, okay. Pro Thanks. tip. Pro tip. If you use the hybrid settings on this map, then it's actually really bright and nice. It's no problem. I just don't cast with hybrid settings, but uh, it's really good for me. It, it looks fine for me if I'm not looking in the fog of war. If you look in the unexplored fog of war, oh yeah, it's like, uh. <laughs> it looks absolutely fine if, if you're like looking at like look at the zerg where the probe is being chased by two zerglings, oh, yeah. and he's gonna scout that hydroden. The hydroden. Yeah, that's pretty important, man. Now, two base, two hatch hydra. Tell me how this probe can, knows, sta can stay alive for so long, even if two zerglings are chasing it. Because I'm awesome. That's right. Because you are. What did, what, what did we do? What did you do here? Uh, they have they have a backswing that's non-cancelable. <laughs> Thank you. That explained everything for most viewers. You're welcome. <laughs> the backswing, which is non-cancelable. Dirty bag is gonna. So sneak a backswing out... is how long it takes for a unit to like finish out their animation before they continue doing stuff. Yep. So if you have a marine A moving another unit, um, he'll like fire at a unit, then take time to lower his gun, and then he'll continue chasing. But by default, backswings are cancelable, so like you can just click move and your unit will begin immediately moving for his gun to drop back down. Um, finishing that backswing. I didn't and Starbo, we have the backswing, stuff. but we've made them, uh, you can't cancel them, so you can't like move until your unit is properly done but waiting. So it looks like that. Doesn't that remove yep. micro from the game? No, you're an idiot. Don't suggest such things. Okay, anyhow, so we got Hydras, <laughs> Hydras with range incoming. He's gonna hydra, he's gonna go for the good old two base Hydra bust. And Dirty Bike sees his as more Photon Cannons, and he should be fairly safe. He should slowly take towards speed lots and get lots and lots of them. Should get lots of lots. Oh, I'm so awesome. Okay, and uh, get more Photon Cannons. But what? He's in the back of his mind is like, why am I casting with this guy? <laughs> so, but 
I have a question for you. It's it's speed. It's speed on the Hydra. So this is really contained. He's not hoping to bust. Well, he's got he's got not... range first, and that's kind of a bust. We did? Yeah. He's got no, range I on them. See, so, I'm so bad. Like where you are you horrible. Now he's actually going to try and get... bully of the, the Hydra. He is. Oh, Alpha. Oh, get out of there, Zelda. Oh, careful. Now, what kind of pylon do we have powering? What kind of pylon do we have? We're powering everything, uh, Summer Scum. It doesn't matter because there's a layer of cannons in front yeah, of them. Yeah, that's true. You can't really snipe this pylon. Toss. But at some point, you should add another pylon here. There we go. Alright, like, did we see a bunch of gates get thrown down? No, we didn't. Nope. But he's actually got oh, one. Oh, he's got one Corsair that can run around and be annoying. He needs. He needs Dark Templar for this. He's got Corsair. The natural change. No, wait, the Dark Templar's not going to do anything. There's already no Corsair in place. He's going to need more. He's just going to need. Up. Now he's getting more. He's getting speed, and now he's getting gateways. But these cannons are super important, actually. Absolutely. He's going to. Oh, he's going to lose the cyber core. That's unfortunate. The whole wall goes down. And. Right? And this is this is smartly KSW's not smartly over investing in this. He's yeah. just gonna oh, keep he's pumping been, workers. Oh, this is so good. This is so. This is exactly what Impact does when he plays Starbo. This is exactly the same build. He goes for a two base bust and he busts down the wall and then he just macros up behind that. He doesn't. Commit. You know them BW builds, man. Yeah, those are really strong builds. Uh, man, this dirty bag with his pylons. We got one pylon here, one pylon here. I'll be nice. Well, there's a tasteless pylon to back this one up, so... Alright, Charger's are gonna finish. That storm needs to get researched. ASAP. Yep. By Actually, the way, I don't know. I mean, if you think your opponent's gonna bust you, then you go for that, that really, really fast storm to, to actually, you know, break out. Um, but if, if he's so light on Hydras, you can actually go uh, big zealot counts with Charge to bust out of this, and you'll be just fine. And you can go on to do some, some harassment. Kill sure. some drones. Oh, the uh, lurkers incoming. Right now, SW is not doing that big Hydra contain. No, no, not really. Just a very light contain. Well, he, if he can get a speed lock timing, but I think Dirty Bag may be overinvested in cannons there. But it's so hard to know if it's an all in or not. So <laughs> it's, 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 it, this is like one of the scariest things you can do in Starbo is yeah. defending versus Hydras with cannons. It's so hard to do correctly. Incredibly difficult. Now, Bro, so like, I suggest that. one bad read and you're dead. Someone suggested that KSW actually is Impact. <gasps> <laughs> no. Maybe it is. I don't believe it. Maybe. So. If if it was there's Impact, he just he would just use his handle. But there's there's enough there's enough good Koreans out there that this doesn't need like, to be Impact. He plays Starcraft professionally. It's not like people are gonna snipe his Starbo builds. <laughs> yeah. So we got. Okay, this overseer is gonna die, and now this Dark Templar could actually maybe do something. There is no detection. No, it's getting a sport color. Actually, it's getting sport colors everywhere. Oh, Both players yeah. really are on top of each other, like of uh, knowing what they're doing. Yeah. The overseer scouted everything. The corsairs have been scouting uh, Zerg all day long. And Dirty Bag is such an impressive player, though. Like his main race is Terran, and he's defending. He's defending Hydra pressure just perfectly. Like, all right, all right. It's gonna be the DT defense here. Well, that's yeah. He's gonna try and chase off any potential overseers, uh, but he, he and there's wants no to, overseers in production. He wants to use this DT for harassment, though. He tries to find an opening here. There's a sport crawler here, but if he can kill the sport crawler before the reinforcements come over, he could do some. He doesn't need to. He could just get like five broke. Uh, that's five true. That might be. That's less of a risky. I'll just go straight in the net. Oh, in the meantime, is Storm ready? Storm is researched, and there is a High Templar with Storm here. Oh, KSW has to be oh. so careful trying to attack yeah. this. Yeah, I don't know if KSW sees that High Templar. He needs to think twice. Yeah, this is... But on the other hand, it could be very easily sniped if Dirty Bag is not careful. Now the and that's some drone kills. He got some drones? He's got... Oh, it's got one. Oh, but these two Hydras uh -oh. are not gonna do it if he's not microing them. <laughs> he goes back into the drone line. Oh, gets... Again, gets three drones for his That's five purpose. kills. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah, he gets the two Hydras, too. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Now he can go be annoying. Indeed. They're very good at that. Oh, the Overseer is Forces almost dead. Here. By the way, I think we're getting really close to a thousand followers now. I, I, My follower thing isn't updating on the dashboard, but feel free to hit the follow button. It would be so cool to have a thousand <laughs> followers by the end of this. Just saying. Uh, this, this, is, this is a really solid PVZ. God, this is a brood war right here. Yes. This is, oh, 26 Zerglings incoming? This is Brood War. Look at how many Zerglings he's making. Are you insane? No Me. way. He's not going Lurker? He's making 8 Lurkers right now, dude. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm like 
Just just lings? Oh, like no, no so, Why isn't Dirty by getting more high Templars? He has he has he has the He's got okay, two high okay. Templar. And if he's playing defensively, that's all he really needs. That's true, but he he wants to have more. Like, though. He's using his tech brother stuff right now, or his gas rubber stuff. But he's right stuck now. on two bases for so long, his his opponent's getting a fourth base. He's but he once Dirty Bag pushes up though, his push is gonna he, be pretty like, big. He just needs to to start growing his army right now. Oh, he's getting wow, additional. Look at that apart. observer timing from Dirty Bag, look at it. This has ob two observers already, right ready for those lurkers to hit. And the lurkers were a little bit late, so. Yeah, they're they're both really smart at this matchup so far. Scourge is patrolling to make sure that he's not gonna get dropped. He's gonna see all the lurkers. And all oh, he's actually gonna see oh, oh. He's gonna that, get the fourth base. That Corsair. He's no, he's see not seeing the fourth base. He's actually scouting for the main base and say he wants to see the tech. He sees the spire, but that's mainly for just Corsairs. He could I think go for he's a guessing mass at this point, it's already taken. Yeah, I don't know. Like, because he hasn't bothered scouting it with the Dark Templar or this Corsair. Well, scouting other bases with Dark Templar. This is kind of a funky map to scout bases in, though, because you, the bases are not so intuitive when you like first look at it. You have to like get used to the map. Oh, more scourges incoming! There we go. He's got it. You can be out about on the oh, map. Oh, you have to kill some just cannons to get out. Time, but you can't stay on the map forever because the Corsairs will oh, eventually those, catch you. He's got to be so careful bit. with those three observers. He could, they could actually get sniped really quickly. Oh, this, okay, there we go. Face shield. Oh, he kills the overseer. He should be fine. Now Whoa. he can push out. Here comes Dirty Bag. Dirt, There's dirt, speed dirt, on those zealots. Dirt, They're going to hunt dirt, those hydras dirt, down. There's a dirt. flank of lurkers coming from the bot from the south. Oh. They're going to camp the ramp. Okay, yeah, they're not going to do much because Dirty Bag is avoiding the ramp. He's going to go through the middle instead. And Man, this is going to be hard to deal with. I disagree that Observer's being so far ahead, though. You've got to be a little bit careful with those. There's no Overseer. Good storm going off from the lurkers. He needs to oh. get it. Oh, oh so many Good Zerglings storm coming so far. Oh, that last storm oh, was excellent! Those storms are huge. Oh, but he oh, he was reinforcing on top of those lurkers, and that cost him quite a bit. A ton of overlords incoming, I don't know why. But he has to push back now, actually. The production of yeah. KSW is too strong. Oh, the There's lurker flank. There's a trap flank. from the side. Lurker flank. He needs to kill the lurkers. And all the zerglings incoming to surround the cocoons, and really well played from KSW here. And those, oh man, if, if he didn't have to stop and target down those lurkers... Those lings would have never blocked them off quite as well. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I was that was really cost efficient at first for for Dirty Bag, but then KSW just caught him with his reinforcements and blocked yep. him in. Indeed, he did. Good fight for both players, I would say. Yeah, and actually, Dirty Bag is ahead in supply. He is ahead in army count. He just needs to like get more stormers in there <laughs> or high templars, some people call them. Thank so, up that energy. Hmm. Huh? Think up that energy. Yes, I thought you said. He's, ar he's already moving out again. I thought you said pick up that interview. It's like I'm not being interviewed for anything. Pick up that interview, CPS. Pick it up. I will. I will as soon as right I find now. it on the ground, I'll pick it up. Oh, he's gonna get the overseer. This is actually quite important. And still, dirty bag with no third base. He's getting this third base though. Wow, this is gonna be a hard third base to hold. This is gonna be an incredibly difficult third base. Oh, to hold. Storm storms. But man, KSW is good at dodging storms. There's just so much Hydra. And oh, you know what? Okay, okay, Here, here's this one. No, he doesn't have energy! This was too soon of a move out. Yeah, should have waited for more energy. And not enough energy! Oh, he gets a high Templar! This, and he gets another one! And the, the, he gets the last one! He gets every single high Templar! Oh and god. This is so hard for Dirty Bike to deal with now. Toss really can take a good fight. He's He's got the tech, he's got the... He should have the proper supply to do it. He just needs the high Templar and the Swarms. Man, I wish I wish B C Q D would have stayed to play versus K S W. That would have been really cool, actually. See him play <laughs> versus Terran, but B C Q D was tired, and I respect that. He couldn't handle the standard. <laughs> you can't handle the macro. Oh, these dragoons are being a little bit um, brave, I guess you could say. How many hydras? He has forty-five hydralisks. Oh, here comes the surround! Oh, this is gonna be so hard to hold for Dirty Bag. He needs the perfect storms from every single direction. Those storms are actually really good. He's zoning out and zoning back in again. Ah, oh, High Templar is walking into it. He's gonna get some Archons! Kiss, kiss! No, he's not gonna get. Okay, there we go. Actually, and Dirty Bag cleaning this up. Zealots. Zealots managed to do it. Wow, he cleaned it up. Dirty bag, wow, that's incredibly impressive. He really needs to take that third base now, or he's gonna get really big Ling reinforcements coming in. Ooh. 
And adrenal glands are bad. Well, he damage. has two Archons now and mostly Zealots, so Lynx aren't true. Do the Archons should chew him up. Like, these Archons and are like so perfect. And there's Beavers incoming, for whatever reason. Oh man. He's killing so much creep though. Oh man. I, I don't I, I don't know. I would feel really scared as Dirty Bag in this scenario. Like, yeah, how far moving really so want far to into up. creep, so far into your opponent's territory. But he feels he needs to make something happen. Here comes all the Lynx. And oh, good storm. Oh, oh, oh. He needs another storm. That's There's not the best storms. of storms. But oh, the Archon goes down. Another storm, though. He could try and rift out of there, but he doesn't need I, I to. He just holds. He can get some damage done now. More zealots streaming in, and he can try and pick up these two bases. Actually, well, the, it's one base, but it's two hatcheries. Now, here's a real question: Is is does he keep his army together, or try to split them out to get mm. as much damage as possible done? That's and in this scenario, it looks like. What he's doing right now is probably ideal, since yeah. the other two bases don't really have that many workers. Uh, KSW spent so much money into just getting building that army to really take a good fight. Um, so, and then he got punished for it after he actually took a bad fight. Unfortunately, the base that Dirty by killed was the mineral only. It wasn't the most important base for KSW, but he killed two hatches, which is important for macro. And he's keeping up the pressure. And KSW is a supply block by losing a lot of overlords there as well. And Reavers are going to be incoming. He's going to get his third base up. Dirty Bag is actually not cannoning up his third base. Okay, there we find Scourges to scout. The Scourges have Back a tiny gets his third. S Scourges had tiny vision in Brood War. They have like almost no vision. They have more vision here, I think, for whatever reason. Hmm. Yeah, units in general uh, have higher vision and yes, E2 engine. So yeah, because a lot of them just have everything is zoomed more out. Oh, but this okay. Oh, so oh the reavers to defend. But look at the map vision of KSW. He sees every single expansion. He knows exactly what Dirty Bag is doing in terms of the bases. Problem. He just doesn't have the army. He's gonna. Try and maybe use these reavers offensively. I'm a little bit uncertain. Oh, you have goons, and there's nothing oh, to scare with. Oh, we need to move goons. these lurkers back. He needs support with the lurkers, and they're just gonna get slaughtered. This is really bad. He should have just backed up with the lurkers there. The lurkers need support, or else he's gonna die. Like he could have just taken a few goons. Oh, and he needs to move that up. Okay, one, one lurker's gonna live. Oh, okay. There's the observer. I was like, did he storm it? Oh, gotta make sure not to lose the high templar. He's got so much storm at this point. Well, still, so he has a storm bank. That one lurker might do something now. Oh, it comes oh, to Scarab. Oh, there's a reaver shot. Oh, nice reaver shot. Oh, in the meantime, he could. Yes, he's he's expanding aggressively towards his opponent, which which is nice because it makes it easier for him to defend. But he, <laughs> look at this lurker. It, it, it forces him to. Yeah, this is a very sneaky lurker. It forces him to be like super aggressive though. Oh, so many scourges trying to kill the war prism. Oh, he gets one scourge connection, and but he can still micro the reavers with. The, oh, he needs to drop. The, wow, the archons killing the scourges. So much storm. Dirty bag with a tiny but a, extremely effective force. He's losing his meat shield. Like right now, he's just those heavy hitters. Okay, the archons are definitely gonna fulfill that role. And in come a few more zealots. So. Yeah. Well, here comes the right. swarm of Zerg, and he's so good at micro moves. Man, I feel watching like an immortal all in in StarCraft 2, but the immortals are actually Reavers this time. So they really, really need that War Prism to be micro. Gonna get the triple evolution chamber, and I think Dirty Bag's got this. I don't know if KSW can hold this anymore. The forces from Dirty Bag is just so effective. He's trying to He just doesn't have the economy at this point. No. And the army, yeah, the army's just too strong and he's in too good of a position right now. He's been Those reavers no. are just annihilating. Ooh, losing a reaver and that war prism is really low now. It's just one more scourge shot and it's gone. Oh, How cost effective oh, is this? He army? flew into that sport crawler. He has only 4 HP left on that war prism. He needs to be so careful. Wow, storming over there. I think I think KSW can hold this attack, but I don't know if he can hold the next one. I, I think he can hold, but I think he's just been uh, I think Dirty Bag's been too cost efficient in these past few fights for it yeah. to really matter. But Dirty like, Bag really needs to think take of that... how many drones there could have been. Yeah, look at Dirty Bag right now. Like really needs to take that fourth base that he's trying to take. He just hasn't taken it yet, and he really needs to take it. And I really need to close this door because there's all sorts of insects flying through the window now. Go away, whatever you are. Ah, uh, and the gas. 
income gets shut down for dessert. I guess he doesn't need it. He's, he's just really hurting on minerals, because he keeps throwing in lings and hydras and lings and hydras, uh, and just not accomplishing much with them. Oh, a new warp is in there to micro that way. Oh, this is a nice little group of hydras, so though. They could actually. Oh, a bad storm. Oh, a uh, 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 really good storm, yeah. And he might get the Reaver now. Is he gonna save? Wait, save the Reaver. <laughs> okay, only four Dragoons and a Reaver left. He, he should get out of there now. Man, Dirty Bag is just crazy. Like, I would have gotten out of there a long time ago now. There we go, now he's leaving. Wow, did he? Okay, finally got that base going. Okay, I'm gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna have to cast for a second because I need to close the KSW's income. During all that fighting, he's actually bought your, time your to now. saturate up his economy a little bit more. So now his his third and and fourth. You know, obviously his natural's dead. Those actually those actually got some income for them now. Um, it's still kind of dire straits for the Zerg because it's it's 27 harvesters for the Zerg versus 40 harvesters for the toss. And the toss has the tech to play really defensively and the Oh, using he's points. using the Energize to heal up the Archon. That's so smart. Look at that. That's an awesome yeah, play from Dirty Bag. It needs to be all in from the Zerg at this point. And at this point, it's not enough. He could heal up the Reaver too, I think. Yes, he's healing up the Reaver as well. Now there's no more shield in this pylon. But that was pretty sweet. Oh, we need we need a new yeah, icon for an Energized pylon, by the way. The, the income disparity, I think, is just way too huge. Okay, is this an opening? You can actually run into the main, perhaps? Oh, this poor cannon's there. There's try actually to pick nothing up this to reaver. Made. Oh, that storm, though. Wow, that storm. And now he can save the reaver with the... Wow, with Energize. Dirty Bag is so good. He's so incredibly good. Like, man. This guy is awesome. I... Ah. Oh. Dirty Bag is next Starbo Bonja. I don't know. He's so good. Oh, man. I'm I'm trying to think what can KSW really do. Like at this point, he's just trying to find any hole to puncture and give him a lead back end. But uh, luckily, due to the way the economy and servo works, it's not as bad as it could be if this was StarCraft 2 due to this worker lead, like 48 workers to 25. But because in Starbo, those workers are split across across multiple bases and the first and second work are more important than the third. Um, that extra saturation that Dirty Bag gets is kind of leveraged off until he gets another base to put those workers at to really get a get a much bigger capital lead over his opponent. And it, oh, there's an Archon and two High Templar oh, and it's this Warp Prism. Out for Menace. But he actually senses it and moves the workers away. Wow, that Archon killed units while it was being picked up. And a storm on the drill! And the Scourge just gets the War Prism and he needs to he needs to rift those High Templars out of there and one Arch High Templar goes down but he's gonna save he's the He's got other. the extra money to do that though. Yes, he does. Wow, he got that High Templar So that there. already that drastic lead over his opponent. His, oh man, he's double income over his opponent now. So, Look at so, the stream of High Templar and Zealots. Why does that automatically time? That's really right. Okay. High Templar train. More Reavers incoming. He has to be so careful with his War Prison play, though, because there's constantly Scourges out for the lookout to kill anything. There's actually only one Scourge on the field right now. Yeah, it's possible. If he was able to just uh, dodge every storm and be really cost effective with these Hydras and Dalts and Lings, Ooh. and somehow manage to pick off the Reaver. Like, one mistake from Dirty Bag. Okay, now he's fighting. Dirty Bag is picking a fight on an odd location. He's like way out in the open. It's a little bit dangerous. He needs. Yeah, he's trying to hug he's the wall. He's got the amount of high Templar that he can really do it though. That's true. He can, he can cover a lot of, of space with Storm. Uh, but I mean, I. I KSW is disengaged. Oh, that's a I'm perfect a place for Storm. He should have really done it. Oh, yeah, he not. Cannot anymore. attack Dirty Bag in a long time as soon as their energy here. Oh, this lurker needs to go away. Okay, here. Okay, the Scourge is gonna try and trying connect. To synchronize his attack with his Lurkers, but it's just not working out. Ooh, these <coughs> High Templars Ooh. are falling behind, though. Does he have no Storm left? Oh, oh he's gonna get all the High Templar. He's got, got a lot. lot of them. And he should I make like Archons up, the ones that are out of energy now. But Hydra's are sitting in Storm. Oh, now. Hydra's walking straight into Storm. Actually, those last Storms did a lot of damage, and he's dropping out the Reavers again. And Dirty Bag like, always has just enough units for every single fight. He's just a tiny bit of units left to, to do something damage. And he's sneaking out an expansion behind this, actually. 
Yep, What's and the APM the PSM of these guys? Is that efficiency to actually stay alive and just not straight up die right now. But, oh man. Oh, okay, now uh, Dirty Bag is being a little bit sloppy now. Oh, oh. he's gonna lose Storm Prism! Okay. There's the Scourge, like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> High-fiving the Scourge, you don't want to high-five an Archon, that's dangerous for your health. Now, and KSW... Uh, Ling found that 12! did. Let's oh, see, he's gonna... look at this count of Zealots heading to the 6. Wow, that's... And they're... The main base. Oh, man. 3, 2 Zealots, they're so well upgraded. You know what, there's no Lurkers to block this from happening. But there's no detection to see those Lurkers. Yeah, but the, have to the rely Lurkers... Yeah, this is storm. Really good this. Like, he can, he can just kill something with these Zealots and be okay with it. Yeah, it's true. Oh, the High Templars again, lagging behind, might get picked up. No. A storm can actually kill at this point. Oh, he missed that storm actually from the lurker. And a, a Ling actually takes off a high Templar. Very nice from KSW, but still, like, he's too so cool. And KSW actually did cast that base too. He's getting little victories here and there, but it's just so far behind. Like, turning back off with Hydrogen, probably. Hydrogen and spawning. And then he's basically got the game. Yeah. But I think he might lose his units though, they're being very well surrounded by Lurkers there. And this is yeah, actually cost-effective engagement for KSW. Look, he's already got another force heading to the third base. Indeed he does, and the production of Dirty Bag is just incredible at the moment. He's actually he's actually macroing a little bit poor. Okay, there we go, Reaver and more Zealots incoming. Lurker then goes down. Oh, that's very unfortunate for KSW. That and stops his Hydra production lucky. as well. That so. really loves options. Yes. He has to almost go Mutalist now. Mutalists are very fragile and a poor option at this point where they can make so easily yeah. many and Archons. Dirty Bag can basically go mass sell it Archon. Yeah. And crush his opponent. He, get, like, he doesn't even need Storm anymore because he can just outproduce him so hard. Oh, he's How is SW still holding on? Like, it's It's been insane how long he's held on this long because yeah. Dirty Bag's built a huge lead. He might want to like conserve his energy for the next game. He said he was starting to get tired before the yeah. next one. <laughs> I'm thinking that too, I'm like, why why not just GG? Yeah. I don't think you can win this game. He does give up as not this man's dictionary. Oh, another oh my god. <laughs> another group uh, of units. Uh, 17 zealots heading to the main base. Oh, but they're actually they're gonna get shredded apart though. I think they can break through and just kill something though. Something, but yeah, not a they're, lot. they're gonna get through. They're gonna get through. Well, look at how incredibly low. Oh, the storm misses. Oh, they might wow. get the spire. No, actually, wow. they're not gonna oh, kill that anything. Wow. That was very cost efficient. Oh, is he gonna get the spire? No. Like, Dirty Bag is so far ahead that he can get away with this, though. Yeah, he can. There's only 12 drones left for his opponent. He's got one base that he's actually mining from, and that base is under attack right now. And there's a Reaver there, and he's just gonna kill all the workers. Yep. Oh, oh, this is gonna this be is gonna be rated R, folks. If oh, you this have is gonna children be in the audience, please leave. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lurker saving KSW though, but still. It's been kind of destroyed this game. Incredible display from Dirty Bag. Oh no, those. the Reaver can target units on top of Oh, that the Reaver's gonna go. Oh yeah, that warp prism is definitely gonna go down. Dirty Bag is just being so lazy at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the Reaver! Drop the Reaver! It doesn't matter, there's there's Zealots in the main again. Oh, I wanna Going watch this! double Reaver. I wanna watch this, I don't care what's happening in the main, I'm watching this. Okay, ah, oh, <laughs> GG's before it happens. Oh, GG.